Well, guys, welcome back at the Motion PSUs. Now, if you have an RX 5600 XT or 5600 non XT and you want to get more performance out of it and at the same time reduce the noise, reduce the temperature, fix the coil wind fix your stutter and decrease your power consumption and no this is not a clickbait video this is the right video for you and we can do all that because amd cards are actually pretty good but they are trash out of the box like really you can just make them so much better by just setting them better so yeah anyways we will do that in windows this is going to work for every single model of rx 5600 xt that's out there we are going to be using MSA Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. They're going to be both down below in the description. And uh, yes, you can also do this in the Adrenaline software in the drivers with the same settings. But I recommend you use Afterburner because it's a bit less unstable. Okay, so trust me. So one last thing before we begin. If the video in the end will be helpful, please drop a like and a sub to support the channel. It's the only thing I ask. And if you have any problem, just drop a comment, okay? Let's go do it. Now guys, this is the PC. This is the new Antec C8, by the way. And now if your card has a BIOS switch, be careful, do not switch it like I'm doing right now while the card is turned on because you might, you might actually make your PC crash. But make sure you have this on the performance BIOS, not the quiet BIOS, okay? The one with the highest core clock, if your card has this, okay? Now let's actually go into Windows. And here we are in Windows. Now we have Heaven Benchmark running in the background in windowed mode. And we have Afterburner here. Go into settings and make sure that voltage control and voltage monitoring is enabled, those two. Then hit apply, hit OK, and here we are. I don't want to waste your guys' time. So the first setting is going to be if you want to just copy the setting, and then I'm going to show you how to improve it if you want to stay. But if not, you can just close the video, drop a like and a sub, and uh, you know, go do something else. So click on Curve Editor right here. Your curve will pop out. Now the bottom curve is the voltage, top curve is the clock. Setting I do recommend is you grab the bottom curve, and lower it until here on the left it says 900 around 900 okay so it can also be like 901 like it is right here okay so just lower it until we're there and then hit apply and then wait sorry before you hit apply your core clock if you want to be extra safe it has to be on 1745 sorry around 1750 okay in my case 1745 and hit apply now, after you've done this, okay, you want to go on the memory clock and put 1600, hit enter, hit apply. Then you want to go in the power limit and drag it all the way to the right, then hit apply. Then save this, save it here, hit apply. Make sure to make afterburner start with windows, go into settings, make it start with windows, start minimized. Hit apply, hit OK, close the video, drop a like and a sub, see you in the next one, OK? Now, in case you want to stay, things are going to get a bit more complicated. This is the voltage. The lower the voltage goes, uh, the better the undervolt is going to be. So the lower the, the voltage is, the lower your temperature, your power consumption is going to be. And you're also going to have more headroom in the power boost. So basically, if we have the same clock, if it's running at a lower voltage, the card is going to run better. But on the contrary, the lower the voltage, the more unstable the clock is, right? And we want to have the clock as high as possible. So if you want to spend some time testing it out, uh, for my card, I can run it at 900 on the core voltage, but at a nice full 1800 on my core clock, I can run it properly, just like this. And it's going to run perfect. It's going to be the best for my card. So on average, the best you can get in my opinion, is 1850. If you're very lucky, you can get 1850, okay? But it may make your software crash, like I have right now, 1850. For most cars, you wanna push it, I recommend 1780 as a sweet spot because it's near the stock performance, okay? If you wanna get a bit higher clock, you may wanna increase your voltage a bit. So instead of 900, you can try like 925, but you are losing some of the benefits of going with lower voltage. So I don't really recommend it, but with 925, you're gonna be more likely to get 1800 on your core clock stable. So for example, 925, around 1800, hit apply. This is gonna be more likely to be stable for you. Okay, and again, remember to do the power limit and also 1600 memory clock. In case you wanna go lower, you can basically go lower as much as you want, but I find that pretty much no card really likes to run at high clocks at anything lower than 875 so your lower point on the voltage is going to be 875 right here and uh, at 875 
on average, you're going to be able to do around 1700 in core clock. So if you do that, you want to just grab the core clock and do around 1700. And this is going to work for most people. But still, you want to test this. Okay. So memory. There are two kinds of cards. The one with the better memory, the one with the worst memory. Better memory, they can all do 1700. All of them. If you're very lucky, 1750. I have never had a card running 1800 truly stable. Okay, so 1750 is your maximum here. All the time you want to have your power limit unlocked and always remember to save your settings over here once you're done. So this is basically it for my Android tutorial. Uh, again, if it was helpful or useful, drop a like and a sub. And I hope to see you guys in another video as well. I have tutorials for CPUs and GPUs of other kind as well on the channel. So maybe check them out if you're interested. And uh, really guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.